Hi everybody and welcome back to Let's Play uh, Spider-Man Remastered. Uh, so, at the end of the last part we were on our making our way towards this uh, medal ceremony um, in honor of, uh, of Officer Davis, Miles' dad. Um, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing at the start of this part. It is the... Um, the the uh, the actual uh, event now, and uh, here we get used to, introduced at this point to well we already met uh, Saul Miles in the last part but we get to uh, see Miles a lot more during this section uh, and we also get to meet um, Rio Miles's mom uh, Jefferson's wife who actually has a much bigger role in um in uh the next game which is uh spider-man miles morales which is kind of well, obvious everyone. i suppose but Before yeah I she has a much bigger role than she does here she's just kind of here i guess <laughs> that's the only way i can really I say it be over. and so yeah peter's here to see what's going on with her talk with mj well, a truck pulled away from the scene from a company called consolidated shipping Something's not right about it. I just don't know what. Yeah, so still, still, sorry, <laughs> still some stuff is uh, going down, and we haven't sorted it out yet. It is kind of amusing, actually, the uh, how the kind of uh, all of the like re-elect Mayor Osborne stuff, which is going on at this. <coughs> sorry, at this event, which is supposed to be about commemorating. Um, Officer Davis is kind of bravery. Completely normal meal. I kind of like this here from Peter. He's like, I can cook for you. He's like, the fuck? <laughs> He's like, yeah, we can, um, you know, we can, or we can meet at a neutral location. That's fine. <laughs> so I kind of like that moment there. Department Medal of Honor. Phone call, sir. Kind of in the middle of something here, Jim. Sounds urgent, sir. Fine. Congratulations, sir. Yeah, totally, uh... Totally sincere there, uh, Norman. But, whatever. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Jefferson gets his medal. Well deserved. My wife, Rio, and my son, Miles. Without their support, I... Yeah, the, uh, the, uh, the subtitles here yes. are, are a bit slow <laughs> to get going, really. That's kind of... Strange. I don't really know why that's the case. Your company, your city, and everything you care about will be destroyed. People will beg you for help. I like that from Norman as well. Is that actually? Yeah. He's a he's a fucking nut job. Twice a week. Why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you want? To watch you suffer. So yeah. All this is due due to. Norman, all the sh bad shit which is about to go down, it's all down because basically, all happening because people want to hurt Norman. Oh shit. It's more of these dudes. With these, with this weird energy. Oh shit. And I kind of like this here, the reason why, you know, um, the reason why Peter doesn't get in, it doesn't get going straight away is because he's been overwhelmed by the fact that there's so many uh, of these guys going off all at once that it's kind of overwhelming his um, spider sense. So I kind of like that as kind of an explanation as to why he's not really doing anything. <coughs> Sorry, um, I find this. You know, this is kind of a disturbing scene. They do it uh, kind of a, um, a, f a fairly realistic job of, you know, uh, some kind of, you know, like terrorist attack kind of thing. It's, it's pretty creepy. And, you know, yeah, Peter's, a, Peter's in a lot of trouble, so we're not going get, to get any... <laughs> we're not getting any help from Spider-Man this part. <laughs> Apparently Miles is all right. Yeah, 
Yeah, it looks as if Miles has just about survived. <laughs> Holy shit. It's probably not a good idea to go off by yourself, Ryu. Just, to, just being honest here, but hey. Gotta find out what's happened to Jefferson. <coughs> Sorry about that. Fucking hell. Um, so yeah. This is kind of the third part of the like the playable characters. Um, Over there. Sorry, we have these sections with uh, Miles, uh, which basically, um, in all honesty, are kind of they're very similar to the MJ sections. In that, it's basically all like, you know, basically a giant stealth section where you can't be found by anybody, or else it's an instant, um, it's an instant death. Uh, instant kill kind of thing. Um, the only real difference that there is, and we won't see that in this section, but we'll see it more in like um, later Miles uh, playable sections in this game. Um, but in the later parts of these sections, um, we'll get. To s he basically uses more kind of. Um, Technology kind of hacking tech to get past people, whereas um, uh, MJ kind of just uses her own kind of just kind of uses her own kind of wits and that kind of thing. I kind of like this here as well. Um, we save Rio, but uh, I also kind of like that he basically because um, Miles is a really smart kid, kind of inventor type character. So they kind of show him kind of using a, um, a giant pole to kind of lever the the debris when he can't lift it off using the, using his own strength. So I kind of like that it shows like he's using his, you know, using his intelligence. Um, it's not super, you know, amazing, obviously, but... Um, sorry. It's kind of nice that, you know, we get to see you know, that he uses a bit of uh, intelligence. Um, even when, uh, you know, before everything goes down. <laughs> so yeah, but once again, this is just a, basically a stealth section, kind of very similar to um, the MJ sections. There's not very many of these, to be honest. I think Miles gets like two or three. And MJ gets like the uh, like three, three or four, something like that. So, but yeah, man, this is it's it's kind of it's kind of dark. <laughs> this kind of crawling, you know, people being killed right next to you and kind of <coughs> sorry, and everybody kind of oh god, couldn't run. <laughs> Couldn't move over that dead body, apparently. Yeah, dead bodies lying everywhere. It's pretty fucking dark, dude. Yeah, it's pretty dark for a Spider-Man game. Oh, shit. Time to run. So, yeah. These are pretty simple to deal with. They're just simple, kind of stealth platforming sections that you have to get through pretty get through pretty easily <coughs> sorry like it's not super hard in all honesty but there you go it's just all about making sure that you don't get it's about not moving too quickly as well because you can like rush this kind of section and it doesn't uh, you know and uh, if you rushed a bit too, if you rush a bit too quickly, then yeah. If you move a bit too quick, then it can go horribly wrong. <laughs> but yeah, just get out of there. There we go. We're at the checkpoint. Miles, that wasn't the smartest move you made all day, mate. I'll be honest. Well, <sighs> this is a. Maybe Miles doesn't have any more playable sections. All oh, right, I'm sorry. There you go. So yeah, this is kind of the reveal that Martin Lee is involved in all this shit. 
it's been heavily implied up to this point, I suppose. But um, this is the first time where you kind of see him, that he's the leader of the demons. So, yeah. And, yeah. Jefferson died protecting his fellow uh, uh, police officers that were around him. So, you know. This use I think this is normally the story that happens in uh, with uh, Miles Morales. I think that the his you know his dad is kind of plays it, it, it's a bit harsh to say it, but it, it, Jefferson Davis basically takes on the Uncle Ben kind of role for um, most of Miles Morales's kind of stories, or you know his. Uh, when Miles Morales is Spider-Man, that's kind of the main thing. But yeah, he dies. Prote he died protecting people, so you know. You know, fair play to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jefferson did a good job. Laid down his life to protect his fellow police officers. It's kind of amazing, you know, he does leave a, a quite a big impact on the story here. Um, even though he's not in it that much, he's like in it for, a, you know, a couple of sections and then he, he's kind of gone. But yeah, Jefferson definitely leaves a big impact. I'm sorry for your loss. His actor does a really good fucking job. Do I know you? I'm Peter Parker. I was at City Hall when... Look, I know you don't know me, but I just wanted to say... I know what you're going through. Uh, that's what you were gonna say, right? You know, I really like this scene as well. If, if, as well, I really like this scene because it's kind of it's Miles. You know, it's just kind of done. <laughs> he's kind of heard all these people. He's heard all this stuff for such a long time that he's just like, dude. You know, he's kind of like Pete. You know, I know you're trying to just. I know you're trying to help me out here, man, but <laughs> I'm not in the mood. <laughs> I'm not in the mood. I've been hearing this for so I've been hearing this for so me for so long. I don't really want to hear any more of it. So I kind of like that that he, you know, it you know it makes sense. I think that he would be kind Sorry, of Jeff. done talking to you know just complete strangers trying to make it you know fed up of talking to complete strangers trying to um, you know be nice to him you know what i mean so i kind of like that so yeah so apparently we need evidence on martin lee before the before yuri can kind of go in and kind of deal with him so that's the next thing we gotta do. They're not even looking for him. Even Yuri doesn't believe me. Then it's up to us to find him. I've been doing some research. To be fair, she's got a point. <laughs> you don't really have any evidence on him. <laughs> Sorry. There's no evidence to support that he's actually involved in this shit. Yeah. Good work, MJ. I'll let you know what I find. Oh, one more thing? I talked with a detective about questioning the original demons. <laughs> They're all claiming Martin Lee has the power to, quote, corrupt people. Corrupt? What does that mean? They say it's sort of like mind control. Okay. It brings out the negative part of you. Makes you do things yeah, so apparently he has uh, the power to control people. And kind of controls, kind of, uses the negative emotions to kind of take control of them. So, yeah. We'll find out a bit more about, we'll find out more about that later. But... For now, let's move on. Uh, I so where are we going now? I th I think we're going to feast now, are we? No. Okay, we're going to this place. Um. So yeah, this is the real cycling center which Martin Lee kind of owns. So we're gonna head into here to see if we can get any evidence, um, about his being a part of the demons and, um, and what his plan is. So yeah, hi. Alright, let's get rid of you. 
So again, this kind of is a, it's a stealth section, but you don't really, but at the same time, you can kind of, you don't have to treat it as a stealth section if you don't want to. Shit, where am I going to go? Let's try over here. Nope. Okay, let's go over here. <coughs> Sorry about that. Hi. Nope. What am I doing here? Let's try... Yeah, let's try shooting that. Boop. Can you see it? Let's see. Yeah, I can get you now. Fuck you. Nope, nope. Have I been caught? Well, shit, I've been caught. Alright. Alright, fuck you guys. Time to beat you up. <coughs> Ow. Wow, I'm really sucking here. Sorry about that. Uh, right. Let's just knock him out. Woo! There we go. Alright. Throw him on the wall. There we go. Okay, Alright then, so that's all the people taken care of. So now we need to get into this building. So, in order for us to do that, um, we've got to get power to the lock to basically um, get it to unlock. So, okay, there's one. I need my electric web. Pull that off. There you go. Yeah, I worked that out already. All right, shoot it. There we go. One. I think there's three. No, there's four. Sorry, I'm using um losing my mind. Yeah, there's four of these. All right, so now we shoot this one. There. Two. Looks like the circuit's still stable. Two more. Maybe there's another junction box close by. Nope. Oh, there's that one. Gotcha. Three. Almost there. One more box should do it. Uh, yeah, one more. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, so you need to break. Uh -huh. Kick. There we go. And boop. And there we go. That's it. Now it's time to head in to see if we can find any information on the uh, Lee and the demons. <coughs> My apologies. Fucking hell, my throat is absolute shit. Alright, let's pull that out. And whoop. Is there more people? I can't remember. Oh. No, there isn't. In we go. And down. Oh man. Uh okay. Guns from Fisk's More memory. weapons. Damn. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, we did. This is all the stuff from uh, bought from Fisk's Armory. Massive truck bombs. <coughs> My apologies. Wait, these are Osborne campaign offices. So yeah, he's going to be attacking all the Osborne campaign offices. High tech equipment. Maybe later I can recycle this stuff with some weapons of my own. Nice bomb. Yeah, I'll nick that for later. <laughs> I think that's it. Oh no, one more. Explosives from Fisk's construction site. This more bombs. Fucking hell. The demons were There's a lot of bombs. Fisk to go after Mayor Osborne. Hey, did you find Lee? No, but you were right. Lee's using this place as a front for the demons. Bomb Time to get the fuck out. Running. Oh my god. And it looks like they're planning another attack. This time on Norman Osborne's campaign. Well, shit. That's not good. Some kind of beef with Norman Osborne. I found an address here. I think it's their staging area. If I hurry, I might be able to stop them. Be careful. Okay, then off we go. Yuri, it's me. Make it quick. So now we head off to this uh, next building where they are uh, staging everything. Are you sure? Yuri. Trust me on this one. 
I'm sending you the address of a recycling center. You'll find all the evidence there. Got it. I'll get those campaign offices evacuated. But if you're wrong about this, you're gonna help me find Good idea. a job. Uh, where's the trust? Uh, so yeah, here we are. Consolidated shipping. Consolidated shipping. So this is the area where we. I should try to do this quietly, but also with style. So yeah, I think this one. Um, I'm trying to remember. I don't think it's an absolute necessity that you do it stealthily. But it does make things oh easier if you um, do it stealthily. <coughs> Sorry. Um, basically, there's kind of two areas. There's this outside area. Oh, come here, buddy. There's basically um, like this area, which is kind of like a, an outside area where, um, like uh, behind. Because, like, there's a big gate over there. So that's where all the main kind of stuff is put away, I guess. And this is where all the vehicles are kept, I suppose. Why am I waiting? Fuck you. Uh, so, yeah, you've got some... Oh. There we go. You don't see me. <laughs> so, yeah, there are some guys to deal with out here. And then there's another group that you have to deal with, kind of, uh, beyond this, like, big, kind of, gate. Yeah, here, like, over here. So, yeah, we need to go up high, and we need to deal with the snipers first. Uh, there's two of them to deal with, so... <coughs> Sorry. Fuck me. Shouldn't take too long. All right. Yeah, I think I was just looking like, okay, is there anything? Hi. Bitch. Alright, let's go over to the other side now. And here he is. And. Right, so both, that's both the snipers dealt with. And uh, there's a couple of guys over here, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's get rid of you. Oh, still a guy out there. What the fuck? Why has he gone all the way out there? All right. Where are you? Oh, there you are. And... Fuck you. <laughs> My apologies. Fucking hell. Then uh, go over here. Oh. Yeah, I think we've got like four guys to deal with now. Oh, look at that. That's nice. <laughs> uh, okay. So let's deal with you. But. Hi. Right, he's dead. There we go. Like I said. Oh god. I left my electric ones on. <sighs> That's annoying. Oh well. So there we go. The whole place is cleared out. Uh, so that's going to be it for this part. Join me next time for the next part of um, Spider-Man Remastered when we're going to be heading into the building to see if we can dredge up any more info on what, uh, what uh, Martin Lee's got planned. So yeah, see you next time.